I remember the day I became king. I didn't even have to raise my sword. And to think, it was all because some people wanted revenge. My lord, whatever does thou mean? Uh, yes. Let me start from the beginning. When the ghost of King Hamlet appears, he tells his son that he was murdered and wanted him to seek revenge. His exact words to Hamlet, which I quote, Revenge is foul and most unnatural murder. When Hamlet found out that Claudius killed his father, he wanted to seek revenge on him. But when Hamlet had an open opportunity, he chickened out his words. Now might I do it. Now he is praying. And now I'll do it. And so he goes to heaven. And so I am revenged. I would be scanned. A villain kills my father, and for that, I, his sole son, do this same villain sent to heaven. Oh no. His need for revenge got poor Polonius stabbed. Oh, but that's not all. When Claudius hears about this, he sends Hamlet away to England, secretly for his execution. During this time, Claudius tricks Laertes into thinking that Hamlet killed his father, and they start discussing plans on how to kill him. Their conversation went a little like to cut his throat in a church. No place, indeed, should murder sanctuaries. Revenge should have no bounds. And with that, they arrange a duel. Laertes cuts Hamlet with a poison sword. Hamlet then takes his sword and stabs Laertes. He then looks at Claudius, runs to him, and stabs him. Falling to the floor, Hamlet then grabs the poisoned drink and forces him to drink it. Once he is finished, the poison starts taking effect. He gets weaker and weaker, and then he drops to the floor, dead. Then I walk across the floor, pick up Claudius' crown, and put it over my head. And that, my friend, is how I became king. Hold up. So, because Hamlet, Laertes, and Claudius wanted revenge on each other, they all ended up dying? Well, yeah. Well, that's dumb. Uh, how so? Getting revenge on someone could seriously injure them in the process. Besides, there's a Bible verse that literally says not to seek vengeance. Okay, so tell me something. What would you do if you were in Hamlet's suction cups? I don't know what I would do personally, but I know that it would involve a lot less violence. Hmm. Nice answer. Yeah.